Hey family, today we are going to be making smothered pork chops. And so here are the ingredients. It looks like a lot, uh, but mostly it's just kind of the usual suspects. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna be um, making a seasoning coating for the, um, for the pork chops. And then we're going to uh, be using some of the seasonings for the gravy as well. So what we have here is two cups of chicken stock. Now for the chicken stock, what I did, if you want to buy regular chicken stock from the store, Swanson's or the store brand of chicken uh, stock, that's perfectly fine. When I need chicken stock, what I use is better than bouillon. Uh, you've seen me use that in other videos, but I use the uh, roasted chicken better than bouillon to make the stock. I use two teaspoons of better than bouillon to two cups of water. So that's my chicken stock. And um, I have, it's just over a pound of uh, thinly sliced pork chops and you all can fight it out in the comments on whether you wash your meat or you don't wash your meat. Mama didn't wash their meat, so I wash my meat. So um, just to get the surface yuckies <laughs> off of the meat and then pat it dry. So this is four thinly sliced pork chops um, and it's just over a pound of pork chop. I have a yellow onion sliced and I have bell pepper sliced. Um, I have the tricolor bell peppers, um, but it really equals out to probably, if you, if you don't like tricolor or you just like one pepper uh, over another pepper, just green pepper is fine. Um, but it equals to about one whole large bell pepper. Uh, we have a, tea, a tablespoon of paprika and a tablespoon of granulated garlic, a tablespoon of granulated onion. We have two teaspoons of salt and I'm gonna use uh, half in the seasoning for the meat and then I'm gonna use the other half for the gravy. I have a teaspoon of uh, coarse and ground black pepper. I have a uh, teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of parsley. And I have a, I only put a quarter teaspoon of Slap Your Mama, the original in the yellow container uh, because I don't like my food hot, hot. Uh, but if you like yours hot, you can either use the spicy uh, Slap Your Mama, or if you don't want to add any extra salt, uh, you can just use cayenne pepper. Uh, use about, you know, cayenne pepper to your taste, uh, but maybe about uh, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And I have uh, two teaspoons of... Um, or two, two um, excuse me, uh, garlic, garlic cloves minced. And I have an additional quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're gonna use this for the gravy. And I'm also gonna add a um, quarter teaspoon of sage. And it's gonna make the gravy taste really, really good. Um, I have a quarter cup of flour and three tablespoons of olive oil. And we're also gonna be using four tablespoons of butter. And those are the ingredients. So now what we're getting ready to do is we are getting ready to coat our pork chops so that we can put them in the skillet. So I'm gonna add my paprika. 
my garlic powder, my onion, granulated onion, half the salt, That's a little bit more than half, but it's it's gonna work out fine. And the pepper. And the uh, thyme and the parsley. And I'm gonna say the slap your mama and the salt, the rest of the salt for the gravy and save the other part of the paprika for the gravy. I'm going to save the sage for the gravy. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix all of these together. Now this is going to be more seasoning than I'm going to need to coat these thinly sliced pork chops. However, what I am going to do, I usually call this seasoning blend the usual suspect because this particular blend I use in a lot of different recipes. This is an awesome blend if you're frying chicken. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it all together. And what I like to do when I'm dealing with meat is I do these gloves. Okay, move the gravy seasonings out of the way. And I got this from Walmart, I believe, is I have just a little uh, little jar, airtight jar. Um, we're going to put the extras in that, and we're just going to utilize the remaining of that delicious seasoning, the usual suspects, as needed for other recipes. First thing I'm going to do is move the meat over. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this olive oil. I'm just going to coat my pork chops. I'm going to use this hand because the other hand Remember, this is going to go in the skillet, so don't be alarmed at the amount of the olive oil. This olive oil is going to serve a two-part solution. Serve as a two-part solution because it's going to help us help the seasonings to adhere to the pork chop and it's also going to give us the oil that we need when we put these in the skillet. All we're gonna do as far as putting this in the skillet is we're just gonna give it a little sear. Okay, and so we're gonna take our seasoning mix Give it a coating on the front. Give it a coating on the back. 
time. And then we're going to go on uh, over to the skillet. I'm just going to sit that there for a second. And we are going to take this. usual suspects ready to go. Now let's go on over to the to the skillet. Alright. We better go ahead and melt our butter. Get that butter melted, keep it moving. And I've got my heat on medium, so about medium high. So it's starting to sizzle a little bit. And I like using the cast iron skillet uh, when I want to get a sear. And we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven. Three hundred and 25 degrees. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add these pork chops in here. So we're just going to cook these until they get a little nice little crust on them before we get ready to prepare our gravy. Okay, so all of this seasoning and all of this rendering from the pork chops is going to be part of the gravy. So. getting goodness going on. And we're again we're just getting um, a little crust on it. It's not going to cook all the way through because we're going to go ahead and finish 
finish them in the oven. And if you have a big enough skillet, you can literally do this all in one skillet. If it's cast iron. Because the cast iron is just going to go straight into the oven. Starting over here. And remember, we're not cooking it all the way through. It's just getting that flavor set. We're just going to cook that uh, for a couple minutes on the other side, and we're going to remove the meat and start our gravy. Um, Alright, so it's crusting on the other side, and that's good. We're going to go ahead and take them off. And then what we're going to do is grab our cooking stock. Grab the chicken stock. Grab a whisk. Be careful. Mmm, look at all that yummy flavor. I'm going to get a bigger whisk. So I'm going to turn this up. Goodness. Oh, that smells so good. All right, and because we use that better than bouillon, we're introducing even more flavor. Bring our other ingredients over. So I'm going to add that. Slap your mama. Paprika. Sage. That's a wonderful aromatic spice. It's going to give it a really good flavor. Garlic. Remember that little bit of salt that I saved? I'm just going to wait. Once the gravy is done, I may need to add this and I may not. Better safe than sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a 
not going to cook these all the way down. They're going to finish in the oven as well, but we're just going to get them going. Onions and peppers. comes up to a boil the vegetables are going to release some liquid and once it starts to do that we're going to introduce just a little bit of the flour I can already tell I'm not gonna need to use all of that that come to a bit of a boil. And it's coming to a nice boil here. Oh, it smells so good. So here is where I am going to test. just a little bit, just testing the salt content. Mm, oh my goodness, tastes good. Um, I don't really believe that I'm going to need to add that extra little bit of salt. And then I'm just going to add, all I'm going to do is add, look, about this much. That's probably a teaspoon. And I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. little bit more. Go with another teaspoon and then we're going to see what happens. Because as it cooks, it's going to get thicker. Whisk, 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 whisk. Just a little bit at a time.
Okay, this is probably looking at the way it's going. This is probably going to be the last one. Good to me. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, that looks good to me. Alright, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hope that this I think I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in this and So I'm going to pour the rest of that juice. Over. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and put this gravy This smells so amazing. Okay. So I am going to cook this.
cover it with foil. What's going on? Okay. We're not going to open it. We're not going to look at it. We're just going to put this in the oven. Set our timer for an hour and walk away. Okay, so our hour is over and we've taken this out of the oven. We're just gonna Spoon some of this gravy around, and I am going to put it back in the oven just to hopefully thicken this gravy just a little bit. I'm going to put it back in the oven for, mm, I, let's start with an additional 10 minutes. Let's start with that. Mm, look at all that yummy garlic. All right, and then let's see what we have. All right, so time's up. Um, what I didn't say was that I raised my temperature to 350 degrees uh, to finish this off, and I put it back in the oven uncovered. Oh, look at that. amazing it smells amazing and I know that it's going to taste amazing all right oh yes oh yes all right. so while this was getting ready I made a salad and some homemade sun joy. Yes, just like Chick-fil-A. And uh, some rice. And so we'll just get that together and then we will see what hubby thinks. Alright, so this looks and smells amazing. That's just simple herbed rice. You can do it with white rice as well, or any type of rice that you want, or serve it with whatever you want to serve it with. I'm just going to add a little bit more gravy to the rice. I just made a simple salad. In this salad, there are the salad greens. Um, we like uh, green onions, and there are some heirloom tomatoes. Well, that wasn't so smooth, was it? <laughs> heirloom tomatoes. Uh, there's some Roma tomatoes. And English cucumber.
sun joy, a mixture of sweet tea, fresh lemonade, Give them a little varnish. Just a little mint sprig. <laughs> My husband is so not the fancy type of guy. He's gonna be fancy today. Let's see what we have. All right, buddy. Here we are. We've got some other pork chops and salad. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And homemade sun joy. Right. You feel fancy? I feel. You feel a little fancy? Mmm, all right. Can I eat? Yes, absolutely. Can I say my prayer first? Of course. Father God, we thank you right now for this day. We thank you for the blessing you best before us on the table. Thank you for the hand to prepare to Father God. We ask you to move our impurity from our Lord and may nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Rice be the slain. All right. Other pork chops looks delicious. Mm -hmm. So tender. So tender. Tender. All right. Very good. All right. Very delicious. Wonderful. And the sauce. Got some good old gravy. Got some bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Hubby approved. Hubby approved. All right. Thanks, Corey. You're welcome.